Well, gents, let us get to your stock picks for today. Drikas, what are you choosing? Well, um, in light of uh, a bit of um, SA Inc., let's call it optimism, I'm going for momentum. Um, momentum on his balance sheet has got a lot of um, SA debt, yeah? and that's done quite well the last month. Um, I think it can continue to do well, especially if bond yields stay well behaved globally. We've got a bit of a uh, interest rate, um, let's call it declining cycle. You know, in, in a lot of economies, I think we can have a few uh, interest rate cuts locally as well. So I think that bodes well for local interest rate sensitive stocks. Um, insurers are definitely one of those. They feel it definitely first on their balance sheet that will increase NAV. Um, you know, momentum is already trading on NAV. Uh, embedded value is in, will probably come out in the next reporting period in the high 30s. Um, let's call it 37, um, 37 rand for a company that's trading below 23. Uh, proper discount in, to um, embedded value and um, with some upside to that embedded value. Uh, obviously, again, uh, middle class not growing or the mass affluent market or the wealth market that they have not growing as it did, you know, 10, 20 years ago but still a proper business and um, and they've done well to to turn around the ship the last three years. And then there's op obviously a few options for them. Um, in the short term, they might sell the Metropolitan Boot. They've just had a name change. So watch the space for some corporate action as well. Ah, all right. Uh, JP, what are you picking today? I'm also picking an SA Inc. stock. So we spoke about Bell and getting uh, bought out after a long period of being very cheap and finally someone came along and could uh, catalyze a, uh, a a buyout because they came with a solution that turned out to be a win-win so i've been looking around could there not be some more stocks in the sa market that have been very cheap for a very long time and caxton uh, is one that uh, gained my attention it's trading at a significant discount to its net asset value got a lot of valuable assets, whether in, in uh, newspaper and print. There's still some free newspapers around the community newspapers. It still has got some advertising in that's doing much better than typical newspapers that need to get sold. And uh, some packaging businesses, some other media businesses. And if you put them all together, you get a value of the Caxton Group that is significantly higher than the current share price. But that has been the case for a number of years. So hopefully between uh, the controlling management team, um, uh, Mulman and Colburn, um, something can be done to catalyze another buyout, perhaps, and we can have another win-win. So I'm hoping like, uh, that something like that can happen in the case of Caxton. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much uh, for your time, Jens. Much, much appreciate uh, your analysis today. That is all for tonight's Stock Watcher. Thanks to our guest, Jean-Pierre Ferstad from Protea Capital Management and Drikas Komrink uh, from Capicraft. Up next, the close. Stay tuned. <laughs>